meant. Yeah. Now, hallelujah. Don't talk to me about that name. Yeah. Have I got some help in the house? Yeah. Amen. A a amen. Many advertisers have taken the name of Jesus Christ out of the Christmas jingles. Oh. Amen. And now it's Happy Holiday. Yeah. Did y'all observe that? Yeah. Amen. amen. Many have taken it from their Christmas cards. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. And with all the credibility and all of the uh, all of the power that is in his name, hallelujah, uh, is more than just a name. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. And it's sad when we live in a world that has been saved by this same name. Yeah. Yeah. Wants to discredit uh, the name of Jesus. Now I got some help in here. Amen. I, 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 I love the name of Paul and Peter and James and John and Naomi and Ruth and Job and Moses. All of those names. Amen. All of those are biblical names, but nothing stirs us and offends us more than the name of Jesus. Y'all still in here with me? Uh, and so the question arises, why are people so offended by the name of Jesus? Of all the names in the world, in this modern culture that we live in, we can't call his name. Have I got some help in the house? Now when we pray in a social or public event, we can't call the name. Jesus. It may offend some of the other folk uh, that are in uh, the uh, that are in the public arenas with us. Have I got some help in the house? Uh, uh, amen, somebody. I'm glad when when we are in an ecumenical situation that we can pray to our God and we can call on the name of Jesus because. We lose all of that other stuff. And, and now you have the liberty to pray to your God. Yeah. Have I got some help in here? Yeah. Amen. But in other arenas, folk don't want you to call the name Jesus. Yeah, until they get in trouble. And then there's old Jesus. Have I got some? I know I got two or three witnesses in here. But, but yet you don't want us to use his name as a witness. Yeah. Lord, help me in here today. Amen, somebody. Look at somebody and tell them his name means savior and rescuer. Amen. And deliverer. That's, that, that's powerful right there because I've discovered that it is the only name. It's the only name that is given under heaven whereby we might be saved. And we're going to sit around and let somebody eradicate it, take it out. Uh, don't even want you to call the name Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. It's an exclusive name. But there are those who have a problem with Jesus' name. Hallelujah, somebody. The one thing that brought us out of darkness into the marvelous light. And, and maybe, just just maybe, it, it, maybe there are a few people that are still in darkness and they don't understand how powerful this name really is. Yeah, yeah. Have we got some help in the house? Yeah, yeah. his name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. And the question arises again, what's in a name? Hallelujah, somebody. When you when you when you call the Kennedys, you what comes to mind? When you call the Rockefellers, what comes to mind? When you call uh 45. What comes to mind? You don't have to tell nobody. I'm just, I'm just pulling the house. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. In, in Proverbs 22 and 1, uh, the Bible says a good name 
is to be chosen rather than great riches. Yeah. Rather than loving favor. Rather than silver and gold. What's in the name? Hallelujah, somebody. I don't know about you, but I, I discovered, amen, something about the name of Jesus, and I'm glad to be one of his children. I, I, I'm glad to be called a, a God child, a child of God. Have I got some witnesses in here? Yeah, it's good, it's a good thing to be in the family because when somebody calls the name Jesus Christ, you can identify because you are in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got any help in here? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good to be in some of those other names, those other powerful names, but there's no name that is more powerful than the name of Jesus. Now, I'm not going to be long this morning. Amen, somebody. But pray with us. Amen. But, but, but just touch two or three people and tell them, I've chosen the name of Jesus. Get them on the other side and tell them, I've chosen the name of Jesus because I've discovered that there's a name above every name. Oh, help me in here, somebody. Yeah, yeah, I, I did that because there's, there's dignity in that name. Yeah, because, amen, this name means God Almighty. Go with the real quick to Philippians chapter 2. Amen. Look at verse 9 through 11. Real quick, Philippians, real quick, because I'm, I'm halfway done. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. For Philippians uh, chapter 2 and verse, 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 amen, verse number 9. Hallelujah. Yeah, it says, wherefore God also has highly exalted Jesus and given him a name, come on somebody, which is above every name. Come on, watch this though, but at that, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Huh? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, of the things in heaven and the things on earth, in earth, and the things under. Boy, that's a powerful name right there, man. Good God. There, there, there's some stuff and things and, uh, that are bowing that we can't even phantom. Have I got somebody in here? And that every tongue shall confess, should confess. That, that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Oh, that's powerful there. Right there. Amen, somebody. I, I, I love that passage there because it, it's not just any old name. But the text says that it is an exalted, exalted name. Hallelujah. It's a high-ranking name. It's a praised yeah. name. Yeah. It's held in high esteem because it's a superior yeah. name. Again, what's in a name? When I look at the text, it reminds me, amen, first of all, amen, as we, we, we are in Christ, it gives us honor and prestige and, and position and status to be stand above all of the things that can go wrong in our lives when we are in the God family. And because he is exalted, and if you are in him, you are exalted. Somebody didn't get it. Somebody, somebody missed that right there. Amen. See, see, see sometimes we, we succumb to the enemy because we don't realize how God has raised you up. How exalted you really are. And you know what? If you when you start to realize that you know the devil will leave you alone. Yeah, he'll get away from you because you he'll discover that, amen, you got power on the inside. I got to hurry up. 
And so the first thing that we discovered about this name of Jesus is that there is power. Look at somebody say power, power. power. Nobody else can do what Jesus can do. Has he done anything for anybody in here lately? Just nudge somebody if you know what I'm talking about and, and tell them, yes, he can. He can do what no one else can do. Huh? Hallelujah. One songwriter, I think it was Andre, Andre Crouch said, uh, with his blood, he has saved me. Hallelujah, somebody. By his power, he has raised. Don't miss that right there. Look at somebody and tell them, I've been raised. I don't know about you. Tell them, I've been raised. Hallelujah. Thank God for the blood. Because without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sin. But he didn't just bring me back to life, but he raised. Oh, I wish I had two or three witnesses in here. Amen. That could just pray with me just for a few more minutes this morning. Touch somebody and tell them there's power in the name of Jesus. Power, power, power to heal the sick and the helpless. Power, amen, for the destructions of demons when they come after you. Power to give life to the lifeless. And amen, power to change directions in our lives. That's power. talking about it this morning, you know, there's something we just can't do for ourselves. Yeah, it has to be done by the power of God. We can have good intentions, but we still need some help. Have I got anybody in here? Yeah, we, we can want change. We can want to change our direction. We can want to change our attitude. We can want to change our ways, but we need a little help. Amen. And our help comes from the Lord. Come on, somebody. And because that, yeah, he gives you power to overcome the troubles, the pressures of this world. Have I got anybody in here? Power. Some of us, if you, if you, if you have an experience, I, I'm going to just give you a little preview. Some of us would have lost our mind if it had not been for the power of God. Some of us think that, amen, that, that, that somebody just because they gave us a good word that helped us to overcome it. No, 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 no. If it had not been for the hand of God to help you overcome your dilemma, your circumstance, your situation, yet we would have lost our mind. We might well admit it. And that's, that, that gives credence to the old song, the old, amen, the old Negro song that the, the old folk used to sing, nobody but Jesus. Huh? He brought me over. Come on, somebody. Yeah, when you realize that, then you can sing it with real validity. When you realize it, that it was nobody but Jesus when I was in trouble. about what God has done for them. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In his name, his name gives us hope. Hallelujah, somebody. So he's not a, he's not a weak and wimpy God. But the Bible lets us know that he has power. Hey, more power than any burden that we have to bear more power than any enemy that we have to face. More power, amen, than any battle that we have to fight. Oh, that's a lot of power right there. The power in his name. Hallelujah, somebody. And you know, the text just told us back in Philippians that, that, that every knee huh? demons tremble at his name. I wish I had time today. 
His name, his name is more powerful than any pain that we might have to go through. In a circumstance that we may have to undergo. There's power in the name of Jesus. Any temptation that we may have to face or deal with, amen, he'll give you a way to escape that power. Power, power, any problem that you may have to encounter. Power on the job, power, amen, problems in the family, problems on the job, problems, amen, in the system, problems, amen, financially. Whatever the problem is, he's got power to help you to solve it. Hallelujah, somebody. You don't have to be down on yourself. You don't have to complicate. Amen. Contemplate jumping off the bridge. Then just call on the name of Jesus. And see that, that whosoever calls on the name shall be saved. Amen. It's greater than just being saved when we accept them in our lives. But it continues on. I'm saved every day. Amen. Anybody know that you go through dangers seen and unseen but, but thank God that he gives his angels a charge. I wish I had a church right here. Over me. There's, there's some stuff that he has saved you from, saved me from, that we don't even know about. I'm glad that he is, amen, he's omniscient. He knows all things. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some of us may have drank some poison and didn't even know it, but he knew all about it. And he brought you through. Ain't nobody going to help me right there. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, he's able. Don't get me excited here. I got to get out of here. Amen, somebody. But look at somebody that said, the name of Jesus, there is power. Uh-huh. He gives life, amen, when we walk with him because you've been raised yeah. in him. Amen. Sometimes we don't use the power Amen. that God has given us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Have I got some help? Yeah. Secondly, there is promise yeah. in the name. Yeah. Anybody know that God keeps his promises? Yeah. He, you know, he's a promise keeper. Song says he's a way maker. Yeah. Have I got some help in the house? Yeah, there's promise wrapped up in his name. Because John 14, 13, he says, whatever you ask. Yeah. Oh boy, that's emphatic. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Look, just look at somebody and say, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Whatever you yeah. ask yeah. in my name. Oh, I like that right there. I, I, I'll do it. Why? Because the Father will be glorified. I got to do the work that he sent me to do. Are y'all still in there with me? Take somebody and say, promise, promise, promise. Promise in his name. And that's how Paul said it. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 8, be anxious for nothing but in everything with prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. Let, let, let. Look at somebody and say, let your request. And anybody know that he may not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. Delay does not mean denied. You got to learn how to wait. And Isaiah said, "They that wait on the Lord shall renew." Sometimes you gotta wait, but you gotta let your request. You can't be sitting around talking about the Lord knows my heart. You got to open your mouth, baby. I need to tell you that. Come on, somebody. You got to speak a word into the atmosphere so the Holy Ghost can grab that word and carry it on to Jesus. And take care of business. Can't sit around and 
say, oh, he knows my heart. Yes, he does, but he wants it to open. Yeah, no matter how pathetic it is, you still got to open your mouth. Have yeah, I got somebody in here? You talking to Jesus, you ain't talking to somebody going to put your business on, amen, on the internet and put it, amen, in cyberspace. We talking to Jesus and whatever promise or whatever you talk to him about, it stays with him. so messed up. But he promised whatever you ask in the name. You got to let your request. Oh, Reverend, I, I hear what you're saying, but you know what? I, I, I've been messed up for a long time. And the Lord may not be able to do anything with all of my messiness. Have I got somebody in here? But you know what? Your situation is nothing to God. You got to learn how to call on his name. Have I got somebody in here? Isaiah 26, I heard him say, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Who's mine? And so you got to release your mind. Amen. Turn it over to the Lord. Let your request. And you remind him when you're making your request, Lord, you say it. Yeah. If I have anything in your name, and I'm asking in your, your name, I'm just like the little children. Amen. When mama and them done promised it. I'm taking you to Mickey D's today. Uh-huh, y'all don't know what Mickey D's, McDonald's. Uh-huh, and they gonna follow mama around the house. Mama, you say, uh-huh. Five minutes later, mama, you, I got some help in here. Hallelujah, somebody. Every now and then you can remind God Amen, somebody, for you to look at my situation. I'm asking you to look at my circumstances. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm asking you, amen, to help me make it through my valley days. Anybody ever had any valley days? You, you, you promised me in Psalm 23 that though I go through the valley, that you will be right there with me. Come on, somebody. The text says, Thou art with me. And even when those times may appear that God is nowhere around. Oh, he's right there. Have I got some nuts somebody and tell him he's still with you? Yeah, he still keeps his promise. He says, I'll never leave you. No, I'll forsake you. Another place, he says, Lord. I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. Have I got anybody in here that there is promise in his name? The word says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Hallelujah. And lean not to your own understanding. But in all, uh -huh, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. But we got to open our mind, amen, and stand on the promises, hallelujah, of God. All things, the text tells us in Romans 8, all things work together to the good of them that love God. And that are called uh, according to his purpose. Y'all still with me? Yeah. Promise, he promised that he'll stick closer 
than a brother or sister. He promised that he'll be right there. You know, sometimes family will forsake you. Sometimes friends will forsake you. Have I got to get too many amens right now? Now preach down and preach, man. Go on and preach. Amen, somebody. Sometimes, boy, this is messed up right here. Your companion. Oh, I didn't get no amen on that. Jesus Christ, amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, they are, uh, uh, the, 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 the streets say they are this year. I still ain't getting no amen. I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make it plain. and ain't nobody helping me. I, is that the proper word? They're, they're this year. Terrell, is that the right word, man? That, that, uh -huh. uh, he said, yeah, all right, good enough. I'm trying to make it plain. They'll let you down. But God keeps his promise. Promises us provision. That he'll supply all of our needs according to his, watch this, to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. What's in the name? Hallelujah, somebody. There is promise in the name. Yeah, yeah, he's a shelter in the time of storm. Have we got any help in here? God will take care of you. And I'm in my seat when I tell you this right here. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, not, not, not only is there power, not only is there uh, promise, but then there is victory in the name of Jesus. Have I got some help in here? Luke uh, 10 and 17 says the 770 uh, returning with joy of the Lord. Says even, they were shouting because they said even the demons <laughs> uh, are subject to the power that's in his name. Have I got anybody in here? The disciples Amen. Finally waking up. Say, oh, I, we get it now. A amen. The deacon, I mean the disciples are finally waking up. Say, oh, we get it now. We, yeah, we, we, we get it now. Even <laughs> demons are subject to the power of God. Hallelujah, somebody. That's why you can say no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. I'm going to tell you this when I'm in my seat. He said, nay, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Because Jesus loved us so. Is there anybody here? No, he loves you. He loves you so. Uh, he so loved you. And what I like about this is uh, since I understand that there is victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah somebody. You can be able to overcome anything that the world may put in your way. You can come out triumphantly. Is there anybody here know what I'm talking about? I, if I was in Joseph's shoes, I would have said they meant it for evil, but God turned it into something good because I got the victory. He went from the pit to the palace to becoming the prime minister. Have I got some help in here? There is power in the name of Jesus that is able to give you the victory. If you ask Daniel, he'll tell you I got the victory from the lion's den. Is there anybody here ever had to encounter a lion's den in your life? Did God bring you through? Come on, I find somebody and tell them I got the victory from the lion's den. Situ 
situation. Didn't know how you were going to come out. But he made a way. Come on, nurse somebody. Tell him he did. Made a way out of no way. If I call up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they'll tell you we got the victory over King Nebuchadnezzar. He threw us in a fiery furnace that was seven times hotter. Hallelujah. But they came out with the victory because there was a fourth man that was in the furnace have I got a witness here and even the king could identify him said didn't we throw in the three I see four and it looks like and let me look again he looked like let me look one more time he looked like somebody break my body focus he looked like have I got a witness the Son of God. Anybody here know that when you go through your fiery furnaces, he'll be right there with you. That's power in the name of Jesus. Anybody here know he will. He'll bring you through. That's why I'm glad he's bread when you're hungry. He's water when you're thirsty. the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He's the great I am. Do you know him? I said, do you know him? Is he alright? Can I find somebody to say I'm glad? I know him for myself. I heard Big Mama talking about him. I heard my mama talking about him.
What's in the name? There's power, there's promise. There is victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you don't know him, if you're not in him, if your last name is not connected to his, if you don't have his DNA, this is your opportunity to be born into the family. Candidate for baptism, Christian experience, restoration. Perhaps you're looking for a church home. 